Now, your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. A few strong storms a possibility over the next week, but uh, we're talking isolated summertime like thunderstorms and uh, the tornado threat. It looks like it may be shifting to the north. It usually does this time of year, and we certainly have needed the break. We've had a very extended break in our severe weather that was so active from February on into March and early April, but uh, thankfully, now we're just going to focus on the 80s and you're going to think back on this day and this week we've had and how cool it's been and wish we had it back here coming up. I'm telling you, it's about to get hot. Here's your current temperature, 60 in Huntsville, 59 in Fort Payne, 70 out here to the west in Jackson and Greenville and even 74 at this hour in Oklahoma City. This air mass warm and muggy and it's slowly spreading to the east. So we're going to start to see more morning lows in the 60s, afternoon highs in the 80s. In fact, it's going to feel like 90 degrees for the peak of the afternoon on Sunday. Uh, tomorrow's a transition day. We'll be up uh, upper 70s. No rain around here. Big thunderstorms fired on a dry line out in Texas. That dry line backs up as uh, it usually does out there in the plains. So these thunderstorms and any threat you see. Now, typically we talk about severe weather and how it tracks to the west this time of year, but this isn't going to be the case. As I mentioned, we're starting to see that pattern shifting to the north, and that's not to say we're not going to see any severe weather for the rest of the month. Uh, we could very well see isolated severe thunderstorms, very heavy rain, but overall, in general, unless we get a, a really out of the ordinary setup, our tornado threat is going to be much weaker down the road as the jet stream starts to move more to the north. Hour by hour here as we get towards 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, a spotty shower or two, and it's going to feel like it does outside right now. So. No real changes as we get into the early afternoon hours. Notice these isolated areas of some convection and the main reason we're not going to see anything really organized is because there's no boundary in the area and there's no real strong upper level energy swinging through. This is just afternoon convection, kind of like a summertime thunderstorm. So keep that in mind. Also, just be aware lightning could be an issue for some of your outdoor events, and I know you don't see a whole lot on here, but we could see a handful of thunderstorms each and every afternoon this weekend and on into next week. But some of you are just focusing on those temperatures uh, getting more like they should be this time of year. Mowing forecast doesn't look too bad. Shouldn't be too wet out there each and every day. We're going to see just some isolated areas. Some of you may go two or three days without any rain at all. And here's that rain on the roof forecast. We're talking Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Now we've backed this off to 30%, 40% on Wednesday, a little bit more upper air energy coming in at that point in time. Trash pandas in town through Sunday, and then I think you come back maybe a, a week from Tuesday. So that pattern pretty stagnant here, looking more and more like, uh, say, late May and early June as we start to warm it back up. I want to let you know East Limestone High School parking lot car show there oh. benefits the band tomorrow. Okay, starts at 10 a.m. I'm not going to be able to attend that one. I'm going to try to get some tile work done. At okay, the house. <laughs> but you're there in spirit because I know you'd want to be there. I'm definitely going to be at the Woody Anderson All Ford show next weekend. Okay, so permit. jot it down. You can yeah. check out Brad and his um. What is it again? It's a '69 Mach One. Mach yeah. One. There you With go. A lot of work. Been and done. you yeah. you warned people that it's about to get hot. I yeah. wish I could have just bottled this week and keep it. Oh, I know. It's, I mean, looking back, it's going to we're glad we had this week. Yeah, it was enjoyable.